What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is Denise Salcedo, and with me here today, she is your AEW TBS champion, Chris Statlander. Hey, Chris. Hi. It's so nice to have you on here. I feel like, you know, uh, obviously I've been able to see all of your awesome moments at the press conference and everything like that, but it's nice to have this one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, yeah. It's, it's rare that we get a good sit-down, one-on-one type thing. Yes, I can tell you're in LA already. How's it going? I'm having a decent time, you know? Yeah. I'm just in my hotel room, but maybe there's adventure to be had. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> There's always adventure to be had any place you go. So it's going to be an exciting weekend. Full gear is coming up. And ahead of that, you have a massive challenge. Uh, you're going to be defending your TBS championship against not one but two people, uh, Julia Hart and Sky Blue. So kind of going into it, how do you feel? I, I mean, every title defense, you always have the slight worry in the back of your mind, hoping that you don't mess up and fumble and lose but I've beaten both of them before and I feel like I am in their heads more than they think that I am and I feel pretty confident yes and I'm curious what are your thoughts on Julia Hart and Sky Blue they have you know they're uh they're I would just say like new but they're blowing up on the roster uh what are your thoughts on what they've been able to do so far I just as a another female wrestler i am just so proud of the progress that both of them have made and i am just so proud to see them getting more comfortable in their skin uh it, it's unfortunate that they have to be doing that against me <laughs> but i you can't deny their progress you can't deny their star power and you can't deny um how bright of a future that they have yeah, and that's the cool thing to see, and I'm excited to see the three-way coming up. I think it's going to be a really fun match, especially given the reign that you've had as TBS champion. You've had a lot of really great defenses uh, in this <laughs> reign. What would you say are some of the ones that you're most proud of when you look at your body of work as TBS champion? Oh, man, I am very proud of, I would say, almost all of my, pretty much all of the title defenses that I had. Um, it, it had such a a range to them, not just uh, in the ability of wrestling wise, but just for me personally, because my I, I won the title my very first night back from my second knee surgery. Um, and then I defended the title four times that week. And you can tell that I was still trying to figure out my get my confidence back and my groove back in the ring. Um, and then all up to that point, and then I had the rematch against Jade. And I proved that I'm a worthy champion. And then I feel like from that point on, it was just, you know, just this is who I am. I am the TBS champion and no one can question me. And I feel like I am just so proud of just the growth that I've had myself in my performances and just as a wrestler, um, just over the past like five ish months, maybe. So. Yes. And, you know, you, you've talked about this so candidly about having gone through the knee surgeries and everything that you've been through and the mental and physical hurdles that you've overcome. But to come out on the other side of it and be able to say that you've had such a great time as TBS champion, what does that mean to you? I mean, it means the world to me. It means that even though I had to go through so many hardships to get to this point that, you know, there is truly always a light at the end of the tunnel. It's always worth it. Um, and that no matter how bad things seem that there's, there's always going to be an end to it and it'll get better. Yes, exactly that. Now I do want to ask you because uh, you did defeat Jade Cargill and end her streak to become TBS champion. Well, um, two part question here. How did it feel to have that specific moment? And then also to be Jade Cargill's last match in AEW? Uh, it was terrifying. Um, to try and fill the shoes of such a star um, that first night that it happened where I first became the champion. Um, it was so exciting to be back and be a part of the roster and an active wrestler again, of course. Um, but there's so much pressure that comes with being a champion, being a worthy champion. And uh, you don't realize it until you have the belt in your hands. And then once the belt's in your hands, the target's on your back and everyone just has a much closer eye on you. Um, and then being her last match, uh, you know, it felt it felt bittersweet because I felt like there's so much more that I could have done with her. I could have, um, I feel like we really helped each other a lot 
and I, um, I'm just really proud that I got to be the last match. Um, I think it was a very fitting send off. It was. It was an incredible moment, too. And I love that you were able to have that rematch with Jade. I know, like you said, you probably would have loved to do even more than that. But it was pretty awesome to not only see you defeat Jade and this long streak that she had, but then also to have that rematch and say, like, I did it again. So it yeah. was like this very cool way, I guess, you know, to kick off your TBS championship run and then getting to see you wrestle all of these other girls that you got to wrestle afterwards has been really incredible. So, uh, Chris, we do have uh, a couple minutes left in this interview so i wanted to try something new something different and i have a never have i ever game and i'm just going to ask you 10 super random questions and just let me know if you've ever done them so the way that it works is like you literally just have to hold up um 10 fingers up because i have 10 questions for you and yes. every time you've actually done something you just put the finger down and then we see where you're at at the end of this <laughs> got it so let's go. Never have I ever with Chris Statlander. Here we go. Number one, never have I ever ditched school. Uh, oh. it, took a, it took a lot of willpower. And even my parents were like, you're a senior. It's okay. Go to the beach with your friends. I didn't want to. So it was a forced ditching school. I feel like you have to, though. Everyone has to have that, like, memory of, you know what? I, I, I did good in school, but I also had some extra fun, you know? Yeah, yeah, and I had to be forced into it. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. Never have I ever missed a flight. Mm -hmm. Ah, all right. Question number three. Never have I ever drunk dialed my ex. Mm -mm. Oh, yes. Uh, question number four. Never have I ever sang karaoke. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Number five, never have I ever been on a blind date. Okay. Yes, but it was a stunt prank show. So it wasn't, so it was everyone, to everyone else it was real, but to me it was a bit, it was a prank show. So yeah. What? Yes. That is nuts. Yeah. So it was a blind date and I had to just kind of make stuff up, but it was for a prank show. So I, had a person, I had production team in my ear the whole time and it was really hard to carry a conversation, um, but yeah. Okay, this is crazy because literally the next one was never have I ever pranked someone. I mean. <laughs> it worked out perfectly, oh my God. Right, yeah, those two, <laughs> two things that you wouldn't think coincide with each other. Yes, yes. but that's a cool <laughs> story though. I mean, did it all work out in the end? Yeah, it, it went great. Uh, basically, what happened was um, there was two actresses. The moderator was in on it, and then it was me. And so they had it where the girls moved tables and the guys stayed. So we picked one guy as the mark. And then once the act one actress got to him, she got, like, obsessed with him. And then the other actress got there, and then she's like, why are you talking to my man? And then they kind of pretended to get in, like, a hair pull type fight. And then I go over to the guy, and I'm like, do you know these girls? What's going on? What's happening here? And then the obsessed girl came over, and she broke a table on my back. And uh, and then uh, basically we were everyone was like, oh, my God, call 911. <laughs> we have to get an ambulance. And then we were just like, well, you know what? You're on this prank show. So it, it was pretty funny. What show is this? Where can I see this? It was a show on MTV called Ladylike. It had one season and it was the season finale. So if you can find it, it's out there somewhere, I'm sure. But I, I look very different. I was blonde. I didn't tan. But if you see the girl get hit with the table, it's me. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so cool. I love it. Oh, my God. Okay, question number seven. Never have I ever climbed out of a window. I, I'm sure I have. That sounds, it just sounds like something I would do. I climb a lot of things. So <laughs> you're like, I'm a climber. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. But I, it's, not out of, it's not out of the ordinary for me to do something like that. Question number eight. Never have I ever left gum in a public space. Um, if by a public space, you mean a public trash can, then yes. Okay. That's a good one. All right. Question number nine. Never have I, oh, here we go. Question number nine. Oh. Never have I ever binged an entire season in one day. I probably have. I don't do that often, but I've done it before, but it's like random shows too. 
And last question, question number 10, never have I ever ghosted someone? Not on purpose. <laughs> I, I forget to check my messages or I check messages and then I forget to respond. I don't ever avoid someone on purpose. I love so it though. You not, are eight not, out of 10. <laughs> I didn't do good. <laughs> <laughs> yes there you go I, I would say that's a good score right like that's like the more you've done the better right I was gonna say I've lived a fun life yes <laughs> there you go you haven't done any of those things I also had very good explanations I had reasonable explanations for those ones so it's okay <laughs> Yes, you did. It's okay. I love it. Oh my gosh, Chris, that was so much fun. I loved kind of getting to know you a little bit more. It was so cool. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. Before we go, let the people know where they can follow you, show you some love, all that good stuff. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, um, not Twitter. It's X now. Uh, and it's call me Chris Stat on both of them. I know that there's fake accounts. Don't follow them. Don't enter or just block them, report them. Um, but then also watch watch TBS, watch TNT, watch Dynamite, Rampage, Collision, watch the pay-per-view this Saturday, and um, just enjoy wrestling. Have a good time. Stop, stop being mad about it. There you go. That's the quote of the day. Just enjoy wrestling. That's where we're yeah. at. Hell yeah. Chris, thank you so much. I'll see you at Full Gear. Can't wait to watch you wrestle. As for everybody, I'm going to post the links in the description box below as to where you can watch Full Gear, where you can follow Chris Statlander, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye, everyone.